What's going on guys? Welcome back to Double Dragon Gaming. Today we're talking about six games that deserve remakes or sequels. Some of these games have been missing in action for quite a while. Others have had sequels, but not in a very long time. So we're going to go ahead and jump through the list. We're going through six games that deserve remakes or sequels. Let's do it. Number six, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is a role-playing game developed and published by the formerly known Squaresoft, now Square Enix, for the SNES in March of 1995. A lot can be said about this game, but I will try to keep it brief. Essentially, Chrono Trigger is a time travel story that starts you off in a quaint little village, but quickly ends up spanning the entire history of the human race as the player's party jumps back and forth between eras. At first glance, the game appears to be quite linear in its structure, but slowly but surely, you feel a bit more freedom as you continue on. This is a game I pumped hours and hours into playing as a kid. What drew me in were the amazing characters and unique storyline that the game presents. The combat system was fun and challenging. Figuring out where to go and what to do could be difficult at times, but made progression all the more rewarding. And the game's villain, Lavos, is a silent, menacing enemy of epic proportions. The graphics were amazing for its time period, making full use of the game cartridge's 32 megabytes. This game was re-released many times on the PlayStation, mobile phones, PS Portable, Nintendo DS, and Steam. Aside from some slight graphical updates on the mobile version, the game has never received any real aesthetic overhauls or enhancements whatsoever. Perhaps this is due to the time and work it would take to remaster it the right way. Maybe the sheer size and scope of the game make it difficult to remake it, but it surely is a game that needs to be brought back. True fans of this game have been patiently waiting for decades for the new version of this timeless classic. It amazes me that a game like Final Fantasy VII is being remade before a game like Chrono Trigger, although I am certainly not going to complain about that. Hopefully someday soon, a new and updated version of the game will be made on the Nintendo Switch, or at the very least, a new game continuing the story from the first one. To date, there is no rumors or confirmed evidence that Chrono Trigger will get a fresh new look anytime soon. Number 5. Super Metroid Super Metroid was released in March of 1994 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It is an action-adventure side-scrolling platformer and is the third installment in the Metroid series. It's a commonly accepted notion that this game is ranked as one of the best of all time. Now there have been other installments in the series such as Metroid Prime, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Zero and others, but nothing on a console that is a true comparison to the original 2D Metroid games. There is a game called Metroid Samus Returns on the Nintendo 3DS that was released in 2017 that does follow the side-scroller formula, but is only available on the 3DS and has not been ported over to the Nintendo Switch or any other system. The old-school Metroid games were some of my favorite ever made in the side-scrolling genre. Super Metroid would certainly make it into my top three favorite platformers of all time, and it would be amazing to see Nintendo bring it back for the Switch in the form of a remake, HD remaster, or a completely new sequel that follows the old format. After all, the Metroid games helped make the Nintendo and Super Nintendo popular and could be considered by many to be Nintendo's most cherished title. And the fact that Metroid Samus Returns got such rave reviews goes to show that people still love playing this game the old school way. The Super Metroid and Castlevania games came together to help coin the phrase Metroidvania, meaning a 2D pixel game that involves heavy exploration and platforming throughout. And these games are still very popular today. Just look at Hollow Knight or Dead Cells, two games that we have played on this channel before, and you will see that the format is still alive and well. Super Metroid gave me and my brother hours upon hours of fun, trying to make your way through a maze of different areas, gathering unique and special weapons, fighting amazing boss battles, made beating the game so satisfying there was only one more thing to do, play it all over again. So hopefully, Nintendo wakes up and realizes we need another Super Metroid game done the old fashioned way and soon. At this time, there is no word on a remake in the works for this cherished title. Number 4. Shinobi Sega Genesis's Shinobi, which debuted in the arcades in the year 1987, is one of the most challenging and frustrating games you will ever put yourself through. Not only do you fight ninjas, but you will also face demon bats, evil mothmen, dogs running around with swords, and your own dead brother. Shinobi has been remade a few times since its inception in 87 like in 2002 for example for the PS2 and in 2011 for the Nintendo 3DS, but neither one was very good and did not capture the awesomeness of what Shinobi can be. They especially don't hold up by today's standards. To date, 
there have roughly been a dozen other Shinobi titles, most of which I have never even knew existed. The game features the character Joe Musashi, who has been one of Sega's flagship characters, acting as their mascot for a short time in the late 1980s, when the ninja boom was in full effect. The series games are a showcase of Sega's technical accomplishment, noted for their high quality graphics, gameplay, and music as well as their high level of difficulty. To date, there has never truly been a great sequel or remake of the game in recent times that does it justice. In this day and age, there is so much you could do with a game like Shinobi to create a masterpiece. Shinobi is another timeless classic that has never had a chance to shine on modern day gaming consoles. With the right team in place, a game like this could be brought back to life in an amazing way. So many things could be added to the foundation of the game to make it exciting and new. Unfortunately, there is no news of any sequels or remakes or remasters of the game in the works. But if enough people call for it, perhaps anything can happen. Number 3. Twisted Metal Twisted Metal is a series of vehicular combat games published by Sony Computer Entertainment and developed by various companies. There have been 8 titles released in total for the franchise, the first of which came out in November 1995 for the PS1. The game's plot is always the same centered on a particular competition in which various drivers and modified vehicles must destroy other vehicles and attempt to be the last one standing. The winner then gets a chance to meet Calypso, who will grant the driver one wish regardless of price, size, or even reality. In the end though, no matter the wish, the winner usually has an unfortunate outcome resulting in tragic circumstances. This game was one of the first experiences I ever had on the original PlayStation console and I have fond memories playing with friends in cooperative mode or verse mode. For me, being able to play these games with a friend and the many different car options is what makes this game so great. Each car and character has a unique special weapon and storyline. The graphics in each of the games vary, but the soundtrack for all of them was always top notch in my opinion. There have been several ripoffs of the franchise, for instance, Vigilante 8, which was a decent game but never really compared to Twisted Metal's overall presentation. The last game to be released in the series was in February 2012 for the PS3, a game I never got to play unfortunately. It received a Metacritic score of 76%, IGN gave the game a 9 out of 10, and 98% of Google users rated the game positive and liked it. This just goes to show, when the game is done right, it can still be an absolute hit. It has been 7 years now since we've seen a Twisted Metal game, and I feel the time is drawing near for the next one. This is a game on the list that doesn't necessarily need a remake, it needs a sequel. A cross-platform release for the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch would make a lot of sense to me to revive the franchise. There are many card games out there, but Twisted Metal brought a very unique concept to the table, and there has never been another one quite like it. Most focus on pure racing. Few bring combat to the mix. So will we be seeing a sequel in the near future? Unfortunately, at this time, nothing has been announced and fans of the game will have to sit and wait patiently for a potential comeback. However, there has been news of a TV series confirmed in development as recently as May 22nd that I could find, but no other details really other than that, but it's most likely going to happen at some point down the road. So keep an eye out for that, at least we'll have something Twisted Metal related coming down the pipe. Number 2. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Resident Evil 3 Nemesis was launched in September of 1999 and is known as Survival Horror, developed by Capcom. It was the third installment in the series and hailed by many as one of the best, if not the best game in the franchise. The story follows Jill Valentine and her efforts to escape a city infested with zombies. The choices you made throughout the game affected the storyline and ending. This game was originally planned as a spin-off featuring a different protagonist. RE3 was designed to have more action-oriented gameplay. What made this game different, and in my brother and I's opinion, the most terrifying and scary of them all, was the character of Nemesis, who would blast through walls and come out of seemingly nowhere to scare the living daylights out of you. This would force you to run and hide, as he was mostly too powerful to overcome in most situations. The concept of this game, placing you in the middle of a huge city where the goal was to escape it along with the Nemesis character, really made this game shine. The graphics, music, and overall atmosphere were pretty great too. Now recently, we have had the pleasure of getting a Resident Evil 2 remake, a game with which my brother and I have played on this channel before. It was released in January 2019 and received a near perfect score of 10 out of 10 on Steam, 9 out of 10 on IGN, and a 97% positive rating on Google by its users. This has everyone now wondering, are we going to get an RE3 remake? 
The answer is most certainly yes. From the research I have done and the production of this video, it appears as if we can expect the remake to launch within a couple of years, hopefully. Though this is merely an educated guess based on what I've been reading. And according to the Daily Star, a tech and gaming website, Resident Evil 3 Remake will not be done by the same people who did Resident Evil 2. Personally, I thought the RE2 Remake was done very well, so I'm not entirely sure if this is a good thing or not, though I can't imagine the game being bad no matter who develops it. Of all the games on this list, this is the one that will most likely actually happen, and sooner rather than later. In fact, it would also seem that we can expect to see Resident Evil 8 soon as well, although likely it won't appear until next-gen consoles arrive. All I know is I love the franchise and always will. I have played nearly every single one with much enjoyment, so there's no limit in my opinion on how many Resident Evil games there should be. Number 1. Final Fantasy VI Final Fantasy VI, also known as Final Fantasy III from its North American release in 1994, is a role-playing game developed and published by the formerly known Squaresoft, now Square Enix. This game is a beloved classic that contends with Final Fantasy VII for the title of Best Final Fantasy Game of All Time. Set in a fantasy world with a technology level equivalent to that of the Second Industrial Revolution, the game's story follows an expanding cast that includes 14 permanent playable characters. The drama includes and extends past depicting a rebellion against an evil military dictatorship, pursuit of a magical arms race, use of chemical weapons in warfare, depiction of violent, apocalyptic confrontations with divinities, several personal redemption arcs, teenage pregnancy, and the continuous renewal of hope and life itself. If that's not a whopper of a plotline, then I don't know what is. The game didn't necessarily bring anything groundbreakingly new to the table in terms of its battle system or the way the game played, it really just took all the game's previous entries' foundations and brought them to new heights. Now hold on, I know what you're thinking. There has been a remake of sorts that was made for mobile phones, and Final Fantasy VI was released on Steam in December 2015, which really is just a port of the mobile versions. The game donned somewhat of a fresh new look, but many diehard fans have been complaining that this was a rush job and is not the remake we have all been hoping for. The most notable of the complaints is that the backgrounds look good, but the character sprites feel out of place and do not mesh well with the scenery. Of all the Final Fantasy games, this one has been and will likely always be my favorite of all time, right next to Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IV. The story arc, characters, amazing soundtrack, awesome graphics, and 60 plus hours of playtime put the game in a very special place in my heart. Of all the games we have mentioned here, this is the one I personally feel deserves a true remake more so than any of the others on this list. I must have replayed the game over 20 times since I first beat it many years ago as a kid, and I am dying for a fresh new look for the game. Hopefully in time, Square will give this truly timeless classic the remake it deserves. After all, they just remade Final Fantasy VII, and it will soon be here with a release date of March 3rd, 2020 for the PS4 exclusively. At this time, there is no word or announcement of a real remake in the works for Final Fantasy VI. So thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Did you like this list of games that deserve remakes or sequels? What would your top 5 games be? Please be sure to tell us in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe and turn the bell on so you can be notified when our next one drops. And if you can't wait until then, we have plenty of Let's Plays and other videos that you can go back and watch on our channel. And lastly, for all of you gaming fanatics and fellow YouTube content creators out there, we have established the YouTube Gamers Alliance Discord server. Please feel free to come join it so we can establish a great community of gamers who want to help one another grow. I will be sure to leave the link for it in the description below. So until next time, keep gaming, keep creating, and keep hoping that we get all the remakes and sequels we are absolutely dying for. Thanks for watching.